All right, adventure friends. Today we are in historic Florence. Florence, Alabama? No, not quite. Florence, Arizona, founded in 1866. Uh, I believe Florence, Alabama was founded in 1812 or the early 1800s. So Florence, Arizona, a little bit older, but we're gonna take a little tour of the downtown here. All right, so there's the city government center. Nice building. Then we'll do just some regular buildings here around Florence. They've done a good job of taking some buildings built in the past and configured them for modern day uses and purposes. So that's always nice. So this is sort of the main business district here in downtown and they've kept that uh old style western flair and it is more western and somewhat native although florence is actually a non-native community it's one of the oldest non-native communities in arizona once again officially founded in 1866 but here is a home site for the William Clark House. It was built for Silver King Mining Engineer William Clark in 1884. This house is a prime example of cultural fusion and architecture. The Sonoran mud plastered adobe walls were combined with an elegant Victorian louvers bay window, prefabricated entrance porch, and corrugated metal roof during this architectural transition period. Later, the home of Knott Guild and the residence of Richard E. Sloan, judge and last territorial governor. So, say lots of, lots of history here. We'll see what else we can pick up. They've done a pretty good job of keeping the downtown area nice. They have benches and trash cans and all the things you need to make a, uh, community nice of course these flower boxes all right old school barbershop sign we like that we'll see what else we can find here so it still keeps that old western flair along with the kind of a standard 40s and 50s hometown downtown flare we got some trees and some greenery greenery here downtown of course another flower box live music in may of 22 so lots of things going on Almost has that Tombstone, Arizona flair to it. Of course, I guess that makes sense since they're both in the same state and similar located. Oh, let's go back and see this little mural here. We always like that. Okay. Nothing wrong with a little cultural in, this, in the town square. Ice cream shop. Always appreciate one of those. you know we're gonna to have to go get a closer view of this mural once again Florence not really a, a native or indigenous land of course I guess there were some here but more of a settler community but they do show the history of Florence along the times and obviously they're looking towards better times Again, one of the older buildings, but I like the uh, picnic tables in the open space. There's also picnic tables in an open space over here. 
I don't know if this is where they do some of the live music events or not, but it could be. And to me, this building exemplifies the Old West prominence and lavishness, two-story buildings, railings all around. All right, some more green spaces, and this is actually a park here in downtown. I always appreciate a town that finds room for a park. Very nice. I guess at some point I have to point out the fun fact or slightly interesting fact that probably the prominent employment in Florence is correctional facilities. There are nine correctional facilities in Florence. So if you're a correctional officer and looking to move to Arizona, Florence very well may be your spot. Adventure friends, I think we're going to end it here. This is a good spot. Florence, Arizona. Come visit. Live righteous.